Hello, gorgeous ladies and gentlemen of the realm. Fairy Vixen here, back again with another video. And we're going to continue with this mystery box that's been spitting out some really nice stuff. Um, I want to thank everybody for coming to our auction today with Jillian. Um, we had a good time, and uh, that will probably be a thing in the future again. Um, not sure when. I have to talk to her about it, but. I want to thank everybody for coming and for being so kind and generous and welming, well, 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 welcoming. Okay, so we're going to start on this guy. And we first off have this adorable little lizard. He's adorable. And I might be going to get more stuff tomorrow. I'm not sure. This is all textured to look like. I don't think it's actual um, marcasites. Nope, it is textured to look like marcasite, but it is not. It's really cute, though. Adorable. Adorable. Alright, please excuse my alligator skin. It's cold in here, and I, and it's winter, and I'm dry, and it's awful. And, oh, look at this one. This is different. It says Mexico on it. I don't see whether it's sterling or not. I don't think so. It has that yellowish cast like uh, alpaca does. So that's a plain, oop, plain alpaca piece. It doesn't have any inlay on it. That's really neat. That's not one you see very often. Okay, we have... Whoa! 1980s Ziggy Zaggy Scribbly Scribbly Brooch. This one is tangled up. It's got this kind of a clasp on it. It says Robbie. If you have a Robbie in your life, this is a really nice one for your Robbie. There we go. Robbie. That is an old one, and it has a name on the back. It says... Love Jolinda. Love Jolinda. Aw. That's a very special thing. Sometimes it makes me sad getting this kind of stuff because you know that it was, it meant something to someone at some point. Here is a cloisonne that's been dingy ding dinged. It's a shame they get damaged so easily. We have a little butterfly with a gorgeous little stone in the center. Let's see, let's go down a little on it. It's very sparkly. It almost looks like um Oh, what is that black stone? I can't remember. I don't remember what it's called. I don't see any markings on it. It's a little, it's got, uh, there we go. There we go. It's on the corner of the wing. I don't see markings anywhere. There's a little, oof, what is this? Does that say 925 on it? No, but it looks like somebody scratched the bejeebus out of it to test it. It says 925, but 
I'm not really sure. I'll have to test it. I'll test both pieces and we'll see. I doubt it because uh, my source usually takes out all the sterling and gold to sell separately. Oh, what are you? Here's a little teeny tiny thing that came off of something. <laughs> no clue. Here is, whoop! Here's a beautiful multicolored pearls. These go for like $60, these things. This one looks like it's got sterling findings on it. Beautiful. We'll be testing that as well. We have a cross with a diamond and, well, I don't know. I don't think it's a diamond. It looks like it's steel, stainless steel. Yep, yep, with gold plating and a little stone. Let's see. Let's see what we got for length on this one. Dun, 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 dun. 20 inches. Very nice. Oh, here's a nice one. This is, I want to say this is silver, but couldn't tell you. I don't think so. It's probably plated. Um, let's see. Yeah, it's plated and it's copper underneath. It's really cool though. It's a, like an open work. It almost looks like stitching. That's cool. And it's big. It's big on me. So it's a bigger one. Bigger, bigger. Oh, look at this one. It's a transfer wear cording couple. A little bit faded pendant adorable adorable this one I am unsure about what it is it looks like it is faux amber These guys are too much alike to be real. These guys are kind of the same way. It's made to look like, but it is not. It's very cool looking though. And these though, these look like, uh, oh wait, no, those are plastic. Look, they have a, a mold mark on them. These are old though. One of these with the ring and the hook. Yeah, very nice. It's really pretty. It's very fall colors. Gorgeous thing. Very nice. And, ooh, what are we here? Oh my gosh, I remember these from when I was in the 80s. Remember these? Indian brass. Fishies. Indian brass fishies. So this is brass, 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 brass all the way up. Very nice. Cute. Made in, okay, what does it say? Made in India. Yep, yep, I knew that. <laughs> oh, there's the other one of those. We have a pair of these earrings. Very nice. Ooh, very lightweight. Hmm. <laughs> Maybe. I don't know. This is gorgeous. It has little uh, brass color. They're almost the same color as the rest of it. It's brass. It has these rhinestones. 
It is Chico's 2007. It is a brooch. I haven't seen a whole lot of uh, Chico's brooches. It's a nice shape, too. Look at that sparkle. Sparklies. Sparkles. And we have a steel bracelet. Very nice. Very heavy. Very weighty. And it's fold over clasp. It looks like one of those, um, one of those, what do you call it? It's one of the steel ones from China. But I am starting to love steel jewelry. It's beautiful. It never tarnishes. It's gorgeous. It's heavy and weighty and nice. So we've got seven and a half on this one. Seven and a half. Very cool. Here's the Maui. I thought I showed you this already. Little Maui girl. We might have had this one a couple of times. It was six dollars. <laughs> she's she's a cutie. Little hula girl. Here is a uh, comedy and tragedy. And on the other side, it has a sticker that somebody put on it. Off kilter, as, as it were. I wonder what's under that. Hmm. I do like that, though. If you're into drama, drama club, you need an elephant. Stylized elephant with his trunk up. Very nice. This one is Liz Claiborne Incorporated. Fully spelled out. I'm not sure what time period that is. I can't remember. I don't know. Ooh, look at you. Red Aurora Borealis. This looks like Coro to me, and it's got this, this kind of a catch. Oh my gosh, that's so pretty. 19 what? 1940? 1950? Oh gosh. Beautiful. Beautiful. What have we here? We have all oh, look at the little ice skating bear. He's so cute. Baby baby. He is not marked. I would have thought he would be a JJ or something, but he's not. He's not. Here we have a bug. Little bitty bug. Oop. We have to look at the back. See what it says on the back. A N S. Authentics. A-N-S Authentics. Oh, wait, no. Vans. Vans Authentics. There's the V on the front there. Well, I'm in the way. I see it. Vans Authentics. It did that in and out focus thing. But I do like this little B. He's adorable. Little bitty thing. Here's one of these guys. I have a necklace that kind of goes with this. It's small, but it's stretchy. I think I have a Monet necklace that is the, the you know, the chain with the black around it. In really great shape. That might be nice with that. I might throw that in with that. Throw it on in. Ooh! Look at this. Little bitty watch. Little ladies watch. Ooh, lovely ladies watch. It says Michelle on it. M-I-C-H-E-L-E. -E, Michelle. It's gorgeous. You should have that. I might just put that in your box because it has your name right on it. 
I mean, it's even spelled right with like one L and not two. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> you can claim that if you want it. I'll put it in your box. It won't even charge you for that one. This is a cute little, cute little, little, little owl. Isn't he sweet? He's adorable. He's seen better days, but he's a little dinged up on the back here. He's, it's not finished wear, though. It looks like he's made of pewter. And he's made of, it looks like white agate. Because it's got the bars in it. Banded agate. And then, I don't know what the eyes are. I just know he's cute. He's big. He's too big for, well, he fits on my pointer finger. So he's probably like an eight. I guess, I'm going to say. It's just a hair above the eight. See, there's the eight. So he's like seven and three quarters, I guess. Sweet. Oh, look, another butterfly. Oh, I got my hair in it. Oh, that's not my hair. Somebody else's. Beautiful citrine colored stones and then like dark topaz. Very nice vintage across the back here. You can tell. It's beautiful. Really nice piece. Been doing good with this box. Might go visit. Might go visit that guy tomorrow. I don't know. This one's a little bit cloudy. Missing one here. The rest of them are there. Wait, did I? I thought I had another one laying here somewhere, but this one's probably going to end up in the craft lot because missing stones. <gasps> there was a whole bunch of butterflies in this lot. Here's another one. Wait a minute. Let me get the back set. There's the back. No name. But look at the enamel on the front. It's got pink rhinestones and green rhinestones. Oh, dang it. It's missing one green one and one pink one. So if you think that you can make that work in an art piece, well then... You can have that one. This is a Playboy Bunny on a very short cup chain, which is probably a, it's an ankle bracelet. She's cute. I don't see a name. I don't want to see one. Ooh. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. What are you? That's a beautiful Christmas bracelet. I love the green. This is Dorlan, D-O-R-L-A-N. I don't know if <laughs> that's staying with me or not. It's beautiful. I'm partial to that green. Ooh. Beautiful. This is, I think this is the core of a pine cone. Dipped in resin. That is very cute and very rustic and very, very woodsy. I like that. It's not my normal thing, but I, for some reason, I find it charming. Uh, it's a charming little piece. And it is 24 inches long on this polished cotton cord. And it's, it's a pull, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Oh, no, it's not. It is 
static. It is just, oh wait, you pull the knots apart from each other. Hold on. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I pulled it too hard. Now it's stuck. Eh. But you see the, the knots here? If you pull them apart from each other, it shortens it. No, it's not letting me do it. I might be stuck with 24. Oh, well. But I, I think that's charming. Somebody's handicrafts. Very nice. This is another bracelet that is... Looks like Monet or something. It's black and white crystal. And it is seven and a quarter. I don't see a mark on it anywhere. But it looks like one of those um, Swarovski ones. But there's no mark. I don't see a swan. Whoa, what the heck? Look at this sucker. Woo! Very nice. Very cool. <laughs> Look at that. Uh-oh. We got a little bit missing over here on the edge. And that's it. So that'd be a good one for harvest. Genuine leather, too. And it's got um, ball chain around the edge. That's kind of cool. I like that. It's a shame it's missing a little bit. Ooh, what is this? This is a hunk of amethyst. On a silver plated. Oh, that's nice. Or a Figaro. And it's got a magnetic clasp on it. Oh, gorgeous. I likey. Me likey. Sweet. Sweet. Oh, look. Ooh, look at that one. That's an old one. Look at the rhinestones. You can tell by this end, too. But it is quite an older piece. There's no marking. I forget what they call this particular type of rhinestone jewelry. It has a name. I have to do some research. Those books that I bought, I need to look, I need to read them a little better. Instead of just looking at the peak jars. Let me see what we have for the length on this bad boy. Bad boy. Alrighty, we're at right at seven on this one. So that's more a little more petite. Sweet. Petite. Neat. Ooh, this one is the string of roses. And this one feels like steel as well. It's a bit stamped and uh, it's like stamped and riveted together. It's kind of like a book chain. You see those links in between? I'm pretty sure that's called a book chain. This one also has no name on it, which is surprising. It feels older to me. It feels like, I don't know, it feels old. The construction looks old, too. And that's really cute. Oh, and it has rhinestones in the center of the flowers. Very nice. Very nice. Over here, we have a keychain. Oh, my gosh. You gonna be right out there? <laughs> yeah. This is a little clamper <coughs> in brown and gold. Small. Let's see. Brown and gold, brown and gold. 
Okay, and we've got two and a smidge more than a quarter. Like two and I don't know. I don't I don't know how to count the eighths or the sixteenths or whatever. Whatever. We got time for it. Here's another little elephant, but he's a little dinged up and he's got his trunk is down. He's made in India and he's got this uh this kind. So he might be older. He looks like 60s to me. The way he's made. Ooh. Ebony. Ebony. With, it looks like, inlays. Oh, wow. Like little peacock eye inlays. That is stunning. It's small too. Whoops. We have two and a half. No, just a close, just about two and a half. It's a little before that. Oh, oh my gosh, it's so pretty. Lovely. Lovely. Okay, we have a beautiful black pendant without a chain. I definitely have a chain for this. It's just a cute little fashion piece. All the stones are there, which is even better. Sweet. What have we here? <gasps> Look, a ring. Oh, it's a snake. Snake. Or an S. Or not. It's a bypass. It's kind of a bypass ring. Oh, it's definitely an 8. I can tell. No? Yeah. It's right at the 8. But the nice thing with this is you can... Oh, try to get it off of there. You can pinch it down. Oh, wait, no, you can't. It's connected here, so it's definitely an eight. You can't make it larger or smaller. It's not really a true bypass, but it's adorable. Yeah. Cute, cute, cute. Oh, there's this one. It's got turquoise, malachite. Uh, lapis, and in between there's little bits of abalone, red coral, probably. Oh, that's different. That's really different. It's kind of the same deal. It like you can wear it there on Fourth of July. You can wear it there on Christmas. <laughs> Mm-hmm. It's really different. It's not silver. It's just a... I think it's an alpaca. I think I think it's an alpaca one. Oh, we've already got something out here. This is like a... Wait, let me find this. It's turned inside out somehow. There we go. That's a really nice steel one. It's kind of O's, like concave O's. And this, the ends are, have a bar across. Oh, wait, I did it again. Wait a minute. Goes this way. This way. But I do want to see what this name is. That says China. Pretty sure. No, it's Chinese steel, but it's still very nice. Oh, look. I didn't even see that part. It's got rhinestones on it, too. 
so it goes this way pretty very nice oh, i like it i like it a lot oh, oh we got stuff we got stuff tangly yuppie stuff hey well you know what i gotta tell you that we're moving on here because i'm this one ooh. Oh, come on. Please snap. No. It should snap. It's... That's a shame. Oh, who? This is totally tangled. So. Ah. Okay. That will do later. But this one came undone. It's a beautiful piece, surrounded, it's a big pearl, surrounded by rhinestones. Open in the back. It's older because it's got your little, what do you call it, spring ring. Very nice. It looks to be a 15 inch. I love it. Dainty, dainty, dainty. Alrighty, I think we're going to be calling it here because we're at 31. I would like to thank you all for being here. Please leave a like, subscribe if you haven't already, leave a comment in the down there, and if you see something you can't live without, please do leave a timestamp of the item in which you're interested in the comments below, or you can send me an email to my email, which is in my description with that same information plus the title of the video and the date that it was posted so that i can find your item if you have not bought from me before include your name your address your paypal email and your youtube name so that i can match up your names get your invoice out to you and get your items in the mail to you remember that i love each and every one of you and be yourself because everyone else is taken Bye bye